What's up guys, this is Jason, also known as Dim, and today we're going to find out if two bags of this stuff is worth one pouch of Ready x wing Alright guys, so as I said, we're going to be reviewing a wicking material called Ready x wick It is sold exclusively by rbasupplies.com in the United States only. Sorry, everybody else, it's not for you right yet. Um, it's got something to do with some military contracts and material used in certain things that they can't export it out. So, uh, real quickly, uh, what I bought initially was two, I, I bought the sample pack, um, which gives you a six inch piece of three millimeter and a six inch piece of two millimeter, um, because I wanted to get a feel for it, but then I also got a second package of uh, two millimeter as well because I do typically go with smaller coils just out of preference but uh, what comes in the pouch so this is an open one that I've been using uh, I've had it now for about a I've had it for about two weeks now uh, and it comes with your wicking material and I'll go over that in just a minute uh, two business cards and some business cards uh, and some stickers business cards, business cards. and what's cool about this is that Jeremy Colvin who's the owner puts his name email address and phone number on the cards I called him, and he picked up. Huh? That's pretty good customer support, huh? In, in the internet business type of age, uh, I had a question about something, and he picked up. So, big thumbs up for customer service. Now, what is Ready X Wick? It is a ceramic coated wick that feels and looks very similar to silica. Uh, you know, the standard stuff that you're used to. However, this is a special material from 3M that RBA Supplies has a proprietary process to he treat this stuff to, I believe, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's really, really, really uh, heavily treated with heat uh, for to give this uh, a very special characteristic with wicking and durability. Now, the first thing I want to touch uh, is people say that it flakes off metal looking things. So I'm going to just, this is unused. I have not vaped this brand new wick. This is the three millimeter. And the only thing that comes off is a little 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 bit of fiber um and it is like a clearish white fiber and it's very little i mean you can't even really see it on my fingers so don't listen to when you say when you hear metallic stuff flaking off uh it's just some fibers that are on your fingers and it's very very minimal at that i mean it, it is still a braided uh cable material so I mean, do that with cotton and what comes off on your hands. I mean, really. Um, so anyhow, uh, the other thing that I'm going to talk, that you got to keep in the back of your head is price. It's eight dollars a foot, no matter how long you get, whether you get the sample pack, which is two six inch pieces that comes out to a foot or five foot it comes out to eight dollars a foot. So keep that in mind. And it is obviously about the price of more than two bags of organic cotton. It is what it is. They're the only people that can legally sell it, and that's that. It's it's an exclusive thing. Um, it's by no means near the markup of what other proprietary things like G Plat is uh, compared to Canthal. So uh, the price is what it is. So what I have here for you guys is I have two uh, two atomizers loaded with uh, the three. This is has the three millimeter. This has the two millimeter and cotton in here so I've two the cerebus has two uh two millimeter uh pieces of ready x wick and some cotton that i threw in here that you can see is kind of like bulging up a little bit and kind of thick uh in the coloring there and this one i've been used this particular wick i've been using for about a week and a half straight uh and this is vanilla custard so it's got like a uh, brownish uh kind of gunk look to it now real quickly just to kind of talk about the layout of it it does have a it is a braided outside cable and it gives you kind of like a hollow hole through the center now when you wick with this stuff it isn't quite as versatile as cotton where you need to kind of keep it at a certain bend uh, without kind of severing the juice channel because it does travel through the outer braids to, and that's what helps keep it wicked uh, so like if you do something silly like this you're probably not going to get very good wicking out of it right uh, so you do have to keep it kind of in a nice clean bend, straight up and down for your Genesis guys. 
uh, or in the microcoils or coils, just give it a nice little fence. You're not going to be wrapping it around the base of your bed, and you really don't need to because this stuff wicks so much better per size than cotton. And that brings me into the difference between this and cotton, right? So, um, flavor wise, I'm not one that says, oh, some people can't stand the taste of cotton. I always buy CVS organic cotton balls, and to be honest with you, I don't find it really a uh, distracting flavor. The only time that I ever get into a cottony flavor is when I run it dry, and when it gets dry, it's like, wow, that is really, really not cotton tasting. Uh, with Ready x -Wick, you get a flavor deterioration. However, you don't get a nasty burnt flavor until it gets really dry and at that point you're definitely going to be re-wicking however it has a much better lead in time to letting you know that it, hey it's time to drip a little bit more liquid now uh let's go ahead and give it a quick vape uh again this is a nice f i actually have quite a bit of liquid on here and i'm on the green one for the sake of the video i'm actually using what i consider uh my kind of guilty pleasure vape uh it's fluid uh, if you've never had fluid it is green it is a very abrasive green <laughs> it is, it don't get no greener, really. I don't want it to drip because it's really green. And really abrasive. It's got like anise oils in it and stuff. It's a really, really strong liquid. So let's give it a quick vape. So, flavor is spot on. There's no... I mean, you're tasting nothing but the liquid at all. And it's uh, it, it's really, really, really a good flavor. Again, I don't find cotton abrasive either until it gets really low. However, where I do find bad with cotton, we're going to do a little test on camera while I'm talking to you. I'm going to dry burn the crap out of this. And we're going to see which one holds up better uh, and show you some of the uh, wicking capabilities of Ready X Wick. And one of its biggest con uh, pros, which is the fact that, essentially, if you are a dripper that likes to change flavors out quite often, and I'm just going to do this so it's not in your face, um, you'll probably hear it sizzle. Ready X Wick is 100% for you, because you can put any flavor you want on that wick. Now, also keep in mind, there is liquid all throughout the bottom here. Um, so this, these would not be dry hits by any means, by any scope of the imagination. However, um, if you're somebody that likes to dry, uh, to switch out flavors when you drip, uh, you're either going to run it cotton relatively dry and then kind of have it work its flavor out, or you're going to swap the cotton out. Ready x Wick, you just dry burn the crap out of it and it's going to go back to essentially original characteristics. Sure, it'll deteriorate after a while, but I haven't had that issue at all in the week and a half that I've been using it on the three millimeter and not nearly as bad on the two millimeter either. Now, uh, as you can see, I've been, I haven't done it straight through because I don't want to pulse and or I, don't, I don't like to keep my mechanical mods running that long. Um, however, it's, it's just incredible how fast this stuff wicks. Now, Unlike cotton, where you're, you know, a lot of people shove as much cotton as you can into the atomizer, and you get, you see these coils that are just globs of cotton, and then a coil in there, and it's like you get no airflow. Uh, I always like to keep my coils nice and neat, and always have proper air control to my cotton uh, or my wicking material. Uh, with this, you can't ball it up like cotton; it doesn't expand. So it is, it is a little bit more tricky to work with if you're used to like these crazy wrap around cotton things. But with Ready X Wick, you don't need to do that. The only thing you do need to be mindful of is if you do drip more, um, Ready X Wick will only wick what's available in that in that chamber of the liquid. Um, so it will pool out a little bit more than you would normally do with uh, cotton, but you're also not going to be using it as much. Now, uh, I've been dry burning the crap out of this thing, as you can hear and tell. Um, and the cotton is, the reason why I'm starting to watch it more is because the cotton is starting to get brown and kind of starting to stink a little, to be perfectly honest with you. And I don't want to fire. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't want to feel like burning my house down with cotton. But, um, yeah, you can swap it right out and the flavor is just so uh, on point. Once you once you dry burn it, you, you literally have essentially a new wick with the Ready X wick. And I, I know this seems like kind of a uh, 
just so you know, look here. It's compl the cotton is completely dry. The two ready x wick ones are still saturated and good to go with no deterioration. And the cotton is starting to get really, really, really smoking hot. Uh, now, when when you dry burn cotton, you know that you are you, you you're opening it up to burning and actually catching fire and burning away. I mean, if you as you're wicking a coil, a fresh coil, if you dry burn cotton immediately, it's going to just go on fire. Ready X Wick can handle it. It's treated at a much much higher temperature uh, than what your typical coil will will handle. So this is nothing new to it. Now I, I'm going to actually pull the cotton out now because it's actually smoldering a little bit. So this is remember nothing. These have been in at the same time, and that's a, this was a fresh piece of cotton for the review. It is completely charred, destroyed. You're not going to recover from this at all. Now, in comparison, I'll show you one of the Ready X Wicks. You can see where my coil is, where the juice was pooling up on the sides, but it's still clear and it's still fully saturated. So that leaves one, essentially one coil left in my in my dripper, and that is the Ready X Wick. And I want to show you guys, as you can see, it's the coils are starting to heat up. Now, I don't think you can do that with cotton. Oh, and you see, we got a little, we got a little fire here. Uh oh, uh oh. No, no problems at all. Burned off the juice, and we have no problems here. But yeah, so it's it is a little bit more pricey. However, it's a lot more stable. Um, you're gonna get pretty much the same vape out of it uh, <laughs> until it, it breaks down. And there's people that have used it for six months, two months. Uh, on a single wick. So yeah, it is a little bit more pricey, but you're also going to be getting, you know, if, if you set up a micro, micro coil that you love and you're using nasty gunky juice, you just burn it off. Simple as that. And it's good for two months. So you don't have to keep changing your wick out and getting all this kind of, you know, you, it's just a, a nice convenience thing. Yes, it is expensive. However, you got to remember that it's a kind of a supply and demand thing. They have uh, you know, the exclusive distribution rights to it. And you know what? They put the money into the research, so it's theirs, you know? They can charge what they want for it. And quite frankly, do I think it's expensive? It is a little pricey. It's $8 a foot. I mean, $8 a foot for any materials is expensive. But at the same time, you figure you got two inches of coil. So if you're doing, if you're doing dual coil, you can get, you can get six setups for, you know, or, or three full setups. So let's say you can get between three and uh, and five full dual coil setups. Uh, that'll last you two months apiece. And that's at the minimum. I mean, you know, people people make me laugh when they vape because uh, people, they get very, very uh, finicky about pricing and stuff. And yeah, it's a competitive market. But at the same time, you guys would smoke, I mean, $8 a foot. You can't even get a pack of cigarettes in Jersey for eight bucks. You can't, and I can assure you, when when we were all on analogs, eight a single pack is not going to last us two months. What I'm doing now is I'm just kind of burning the whole. I'm I'm slowly pulling the wick up and just burning the whole thing to show you. I mean, this has had quite a bit of fluid on it, and yeah. It, while we're doing this, we'll wrap it up. It's eight dollars a foot. RBA supplies the two millimeter and three millimeter. My personal preference is I actually prefer the three millimeter. You see me abusing the heck out of the two. The three actually takes it even better. Uh, I think it wicks even better than what the two wicks as. Uh, and I think that uh, it's once you get past the fact that you can't run your your typical standard micro coil, uh, you know you have to step it up to obviously something that'll hold the three millimeter wick. You'll love it. The three millimeter is in my opinion, the best wicking material out there on the market right now. The two millimeter is up there as well. The three gets the edge. Um, my suggestion to you, do whatever you want. Get the sample pack and try them out. I mean, the worst that you're going to be out is eight bucks and you're going to like it. Just be mindful that, again, you can't pull it up like cotton. Like you're not going to be able to drip. You know, if you're somebody that uses a, you know, a dripper and just wants to use it almost like a tank, Maybe not for you because it doesn't it doesn't expand like cotton does. But at the same time, we just cleared out an entire cerebrus bottom that was covered in fluid, and 
This is cool to the touch. Spotless. Absolutely spotless. Ready to go. Brand new white wick. With no, no pliability issues. No deterioration of it. We just abused that. And you saw me zap it for another two minutes past with the cotton failed out. And this stuff is scolded. Burnt. Gone. Get a new one. Disgusting. This would go in your lungs if you were to keep vaping it dry. This is like a brand new wick. I think, th I think this speaks for itself. If you want to see something really cool, go to RBA Supplies. Jeremy actually did a video where he dunked the stuff in motor oil and burnt it off. I mean, <laughs> it can hold, it can easily withstand a torch. It can withstand your atomizer. This is good stuff, guys. Uh, for eight bucks a foot, it's totally worth it. RBASupplies.com. Listen, guys, this is dim. This is ready X quick. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome wicking material, in my opinion. Try it out, honestly. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Dim Does. Be sure to like Facebook, actually, because I'm going to be doing a contest shortly that's going to be Facebook exclusive. I know, I know. I've done a couple on YouTube already, so I want to do one to build the. It's a brand new Facebook page. It's kind of like with the channel, too. But go ahead over there and like it and you'll see a contest within the next week or so so anyhow guys this is ready x wick and dim saying i'll see you guys in the next video and check out ready x wick bye